Hey there, this is a short video about lambda expressions in Java and several examples without parameters, with one or two parameters and with multiple parameters. Uh, what is a lambda expression? This is an inline function or anonymous function which is derived by functional programming. It's very useful when you want to use a small piece of code without using a function just uh, putting a small snippet of code and later call it this is a really simple example without parameters and this is uh, the general lambda expression consists of three parts the first part is uh, parameters which are here, the next part is the lambda expression operator and finally we have the body. As you can see here we have zero parameters, the lambda expression and this is the body. So let's run the first example which is printing only some value on the console and here we have the result. We are using an uh, interface named uh, runnable and finally we get this result mm, let's move on another example which is using again lambda expression but with one return parameter in this case we have uh, this code here we have to be sure that we will not have exceptions that that's why we have here throw exceptions and let's run it as you can see here we have one return value which is from type boolean that's why we are not using runnable but callable and we have two lines as output uh, if we want to use lambda expression with one parameter we have to use function and provide the input and the output parameters so let's say that you want to get a number and is it even or odd for example this one mm, here we have the parameter we have the lambda operator and the body which is checking uh, is it uh, can this number be divided on two without reminder or not and returning the result as you can see here we have that this number it's even and let's check about seven i'm getting a result that seven it's odd number and let's move further uh, here you can see uh, the same example with uh, longer form this is the parameter this is the body of the lambda expression it's doing exactly the same and we can have another program which is checking if a character is a vol. So here we can see that we have a predefined list of values. We're using method contains which can be um, considered as uh, SQL in operator and we are checking if A is a vowel sound or B is a vowel sound. As you can see here we have uh, that A is a vowel and uh, B is a consonant. So as you can see this is the parameter, the lambda exp operator and the body of the lambda expression. So the next one is, uh, uh, by the way if you change the if you change the used interface you get an error uh, which is saying that uh, you cannot uh, uh, apply this operation to this lambda operator uh, you can also get uh, the same error if you put uh, here for example minus sign or plus sign so you have the same error as you can see operator plus cannot be applied to lambda 
parameter int so you have to be sure that you're using the correct interface mm, so let's go to lambda expression with two parameters we have two options using b function or binary operator uh, binary operator is uh, more uh, it's simpler and uh, easier to be understand here we have uh, two parameters and we are doing in the body only some of these two elements as, and as you can see we will have uh, 12 as result and this is the declaration of this interface and let's check the other example which is doing concatenation of two strings here we have b function the name of the lambda expression which is concat the two parameters of the lambda expression the lambda operator and the body of this lambda expression we have return type also so finally we will have the concatenated value and the return value so let's move on the other example which is using lambda expression with more parameters so first of all you have to uh, declare an interface which is uh, having the number of parameters as much as you need so I'm putting this interface here and let's add our function which is calculating um, triple of uh, Pythagore or Pythagoras I don't know how to pronounce it correctly maybe Pythagoras and this is the function call and let's check uh, this example here we have uh, this interface here with uh, three input parameters and one output and here we are adding our lambda expression with uh, three parameters and this is the body of our lambda expression which is checking if uh, mm, the square of a uh, sum of uh, squared two parameters is equal to the square of uh, the third parameter and it's returning true or false so let's execute it and check this example so as you can see here we have that this is uh, such a triple and you can add more parameters to your interface and use it as seen in this example and some words about lambda uh, as you can see here we have one and the same example of uh, printing pyramid in java this one is uh, in classic java code and this one is using lambda expression and as you can see here it's a bit concise and maybe more readable for some people Mm, this is the three parts of a normal lambda expression the set of parameters the lambda operator and the function body it's uh, very useful when you want to write fancy and short code if you have uh, any questions or comments please do share them below i will i will add uh, all the code and information in the description below so you can check it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.